Custom audiences are a targeting option that allows you to reach people who have already interacted with your business. These audiences are created using data sources like website traffic and customer lists and app activity or engagement with Facebook and Instagram content. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set them up so you can start retargeting those people and begin making some real money. And once you create a custom audience, the cool thing is you can then run ads to them or even build something called a lookalike audience. We like to bucket our custom audiences into two different types. Custom audience bucket one are engaged audiences. These are people who have interacted with your brand, but they just haven't purchased yet. They may have engaged on your ad or your website or, or maybe visited your Instagram or Facebook pages or engaged with a lead form or maybe even joined your email list. Custom audience bucket number two are existing customers. And these are just simply people who have made a purchase or are now your customer. Makes sense. And we do this because this is how Meta prefers to bucket them when it comes to audience segmentation, which if you wanna learn more about audience segment breakdowns and precisely which ones you need, you can find a video tutorial on that in the description. While there are plenty of sources you could choose from, the custom audience sources we see the most beneficial are website, customer list, Instagram account, Facebook page, shopping, and lead form. And it's not that there isn't value in the others. We just rarely see them used or perform well. So let's start with your engaged audiences bucket. In your Meta Ads Manager, go to Audiences. Click Create Audience, then Custom Audience. Select Website as your source, choose your pixel, and then under Events, select All Website Visitors. Or you could refine it to specific pages as you want, but we like to just keep this wide open. Set your retention window to 30 days, then click Create Audience. Now, repeat the same process to create your 90-day and your 180-day audience. Let's do the same thing, but I wanna upload a non-buyer list of email subscribers. Since we use Klaviyo, I created a segment of non-buyers and then downloaded the CSV. Using that CSV, I can now upload it and then make sure that each identifier matches with the data Meta accepts, which generally you wanna make sure that you have email, phone number, first name, and last name. But if you have more information like their mailing address or zip code, great, go ahead and upload those. But the things that I said before, those are usually the most important things that Meta really needs. Now, unlike other sources, uploading a customer list, it doesn't have windows to select from. So once you're done uploading the non-buyers, go ahead and move on to creating the next custom audiences, which are people who have engaged with you on Facebook, Instagram, your shop, or on your lead forms. For time's sake, by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and show you just the 30-day window for how to set each one of these up, and then you can go create the 90-day window and the 180-day window. And I'm gonna do this starting with Instagram page engagers. To get started, you're gonna select Instagram account and leave the default setting of everyone who engaged with this professional account. Now, while you could get more granular with your segmentation in here, like building an audience of, of people who started following you or sent you a message or saved one of your posts, we don't find this really valuable until you have hundreds of thousands of monthly engagements on your Instagram. So once you've done that, go ahead and insert 30 days for the retention window, name the custom audience and press create. Next, we'll do the same thing for your Facebook page engagers. We're going to create an audience. We're gonna select our Facebook page. We're gonna select everyone who engaged with our page. We're gonna set the retention window to 30 days and we're gonna name it Facebook Engagements L30. Then we're gonna press create. Two more to go, we're almost there. We're gonna create another audience. We're going to select lead forms. We're going to select anyone who opened this form. We will set the retention to 30 days. And real quick, as a note, lead forms only allow you a 90 day retention window max. So you're only gonna be able to create 30 and 90 day windows for this. Once you've put in 30 days, go ahead and name this and press create. Finally, we'll create our Instagram and Facebook shop audiences, which are a very similar process. We're gonna create a new audience. We're gonna select shopping. We're gonna select Facebook page and we're gonna leave it on accounts center accounts who viewed products. We'll set the retention window to 30 days. Then we're gonna name this Facebook shop views L30. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and click create. We'll do the same thing for our Instagram shop. We're gonna create an audience. Sounds familiar, right? We're gonna select shopping. We're gonna to go to Instagram account 
Accounts Center accounts who viewed products. We will set the retention window to 30 days. We're gonna name it Instagram Shop Views L30 and then press Create. After you've set these up, you'll have all of your engaged audiences complete. Let's go ahead and wrap up real quick by creating your two existing customer audiences. But if you wouldn't mind, give this video a like, maybe subscribe if you want more training like this to help grow your e-commerce business. So to create your existing customer audiences, we're gonna follow this exact same process. We're going to create audience, we're gonna select website, we're gonna to go to the events and select purchases, we're going to set the retention window to 30 days, and then we're going to name this purchases L30. Do the same thing for 90 and 180 day windows. Finally, we're gonna do something that you already know how to do. We're gonna upload a CSV file of your customer list the same exact way that you did for your non-buyer list. And once you've done that, you'll have officially created all of the most important custom audiences to run retargeting campaigns. Now, if you wanna go even deeper on growing your e-commerce business, go ahead and head over to ecommercealley.com. We have tons of free tools and trainings and, and resources uh, to help you scale, plus hundreds of deep dive podcast episodes that are free, by the way, uh, that cover everything from like marketing to ops to just really maximizing your profitability. So if you're looking for strategies you can actually move the needle, you're gonna find everything you need right there.